Guys, just a couple of words on the Solar Boost controller. So the first is, I really like the way it's very simple. You can just plug it in. Uh, it's just got the four wires. Uh, it automatically comes up with the charge and the voltage. Um, it's pretty simple to program. Um, I like the fact that when, uh, when it gets dark and the solar panel isn't on, the whole thing shuts down, so there's no draw on the system. So this is how the controller comes. With a small brown box and extra fuse. You can see by the dollar bill being six inches wide that it's not that big. The odd thing about this is that one pair of the wires are tin coated, the others are not. It's very curious uh, why they uh, did this. In a marine environment both should be tinned. The sticker on the bottom indicates that it's set up for 48 volts, but actually can be set for other voltages as well. The power specification is 300 watts. The directions are easy to read and uh, not so bad. They're uh, very simple. Works very well. Despite the instructions, though, I screwed up the wire and blew the fuse. Yep, I had the negative to the positive and I had the panel to the battery. Completely opposite, but it didn't seem to harm the unit, and I replaced the and we were back on our way. It allows you to have uh, arrays of solar panels that are lower voltage than the battery bank you're charging, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a couple of really good YouTubers out there that have uh, really gone over this controller in detail. Adam Welsh is one. And Heu Garcia is another. The way the mounts are here uh, would be great for a, a box or whatnot, but the LED and the wire coming out here uh, would be better suited, I think, if the wire could come out the back and it would be easier to mount. Uh, plus, if you're going to mount it inside an electric box, you really can't see this. So it's really a little bit awkward the way the mounting is on this. Um, and would be better suited with a different uh, mechanism for mounting. Also remember uh, when you are wiring these on a marine environment you want to use stranded uh, wire um, that is tin coated. That way you will um, not have problems with uh, disconnection in the middle of your season because of corrosion on the copper. The solar display consists of uh, three different increments. One is B, designated for the battery voltage. Two is P, for the panel voltage. And C is for the current. Toggles through every three seconds. It has two display lights and a set button so you can change the uh, voltages uh, to um, be able to charge to the different voltages. It does seem to, to adjust the voltage, turn it off when it's appropriate. Um, so I'm going to use it this year and test it out and see how it is for the long haul. Um, and we'll keep you updated. Alright, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon.